The collection log. It paves the way for my account progress as I work on one task at a time, randomly generated by my spreadsheet. Now that we're in the hard tier, it's time to kick it up a notch with some of the hardest grinds we'll ever have to face. This is Generate Task Season 3. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we worked towards the second unique from Elite Clues and on the way there we battled it out with a Mimic for the first time. We also managed to finally complete the entirety of Recipe for Disaster, granting us the Barrows Gloves. As we did Barrows to obtain our Elite Clues, we also got three new Barrows Uniques along the way, being the Gutten Spear, the Torek Legs and last but certainly not least, or actually probably least, the Torek Hammers. We then finished the task with the second Elite Clue Unique being the Musketeer Hat. Today we're starting the first Slayer grind in the hard tier as we work towards 83 Slayer to get the Dragon Boots drop from Spiritual Mages. Sit back, relax, click the sub button with your left pinky if you haven't subscribed yet, and enjoy the episode. So I guess we'll get started with the, uh, the Slayer grind here. We've got a task of 241 Gargoyles still active, so that's a pretty good one to start with. Now of course we do have the Dragon Simi now, we have the Barrow's Gloves, we have the Torek Legs, a lot of gear upgrades, plus we also have access to Ancients. So the first time I'm gonna get one of those tasks where I can use either Ancients or Range. I'm also gonna hop back into Nightmare Zone to imbue the Slayer Helm and potentially the Archer's Ring if I'm gonna use Range. But for now I'm just gonna use a normal one because we are using Melee. So let's go. 80 Slayer, 3 levels to go. I'm not gonna boost for the uh, the Dragon Boots because I feel like it's better to keep those spies for later on. So let's get 3 levels. Let's see if we get something cool along the way as well. There it is boys, the very first superior. Oh boy, what are we gonna get? Get an Eternal Gem. Okay, not quite. <laughs> There we go, the very first Slayer task has been completed. We've now completed 154 tasks, so we, are, we do still have this task tree going. And we have a total of 506 points, so let's go back to Konar and let's get our next task. Okay, so we're definitely gonna spend some points here. Am I gonna do boss tasks? Sure, why not, right? Bit of fun. If we get like a really hard boss, I'll just do three of them, right? I'm scared though, but I'm, I'm gonna do it, fine. Like a boss unlocked. Then I'm also gonna unlock Vampire Slayer for a potential passive blood shard and the dust that we need for hallowed sepulcher and then i'm also gonna extend necreals for sure and dust devils i guess then i'm out of points so i better not get a bad task because i'm not gonna be able to skip it there we go 26 points left what do we get konar 150 greater demons in the karum slayer dungeon hey look at that 90 lizardmen guys get your spoons out because we are about to get a dragon warhammer <laughs> i really have to imbue this archer's ring though because that would help a little bit. A longbone? Excuse me? Hey, there we go. 87 defense coming in on this Dagonaut task. We'll take that. After this task, I'll probably hop in Nightmare Zone for a bit. Get that imbued Slayer Helm and maybe the Archer's Ring as well. We'll see how much I do. But uh, there's a the defense level. Here we are. We got the Slayer Helm. We got the Archer's Ring. And we have 2 million reward points. 2 million. So that means we can upgrade both the imbue Slayer Helm, there it is, and the Archer's Ring as well. So now we don't have to do Nightmare Zone for a bit until we get one of the other items, I guess. At least we know that it won't take too long to imbue any of them. About 900k points an hour, pretty decent. After four tasks, well, this is the fourth task, but there's our first Brimstone Key on this grind. That took long enough. We just got another giant champion scroll. I mean, we already have three from the Obor grind, but... I guess we'll add that one to our collection. I completely forgot those were a thing. <laughs> well, there's the first boss task. Vetian. I'm, I'll probably just do three, though. Also, let me check my uh, blocks. So right now I have Steel Dragons, Black Demons, and Hellhounds block, but I still have one empty slot because we got 200 quest points since the last Slayer grind. Okay, the first Vetian kill for some uncut diamonds and uncut rubies. Holy, 100 Renar wheat? <laughs> I feel like that's pretty much the best drop you can get other than the uniques. Nah, I should probably bank. Yeah, let me go bank that. Because that's a pretty big one. There we go, Jesus Christ. Gold ore? Okay, that's not even that bad. 300 gold ore, that's a decent amount of smithing XP right there. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Vedian again, but... Then again, you know, we did get the 100 Renar, so that's definitely worth it. Ooh, there it is. Look at that, 88 defense. We'll get two more defense levels, which we'll definitely get on this Slayer grind. By the time we have the Dragon Boots, we're gonna be flat 90s for our melee stats. Finish him, okay. There it is, 81 Slayer. No special drop, but that's the first level on the Slayer grind for the Dragon Boots. Two more levels to go. Yo, there it is, look at that, 94 range coming in at the Lizardman Shamans. What beautiful level, only five levels away from our first 99, although I, I still think that hit points is probably gonna be the first one that we'll get. 
Yeah, 54 shamans left. Can we get a dragon warmer? That's the question. Probably not. Oh boy, vampire task. In dark mayor. Can we get the, the blood shard milk? Is it gonna happen? Is that gonna be the, the spoon? All right, so I finally got my very first burst task ever. So we're gonna kill some necrols in the catacombs of Karen, but for that I still need some preparation to do. I don't really have any knives or darts in the bank right now to use. I have these 404 rune knives, but I don't really want to use those. So I think I'm gonna use some of the steel bars that I have. Make some steel knives. I only need a few. If I'm gonna use the assembler, I'm gonna save them anyways uh, while luring them. So I'm gonna make some of those, I'm gonna make some bracelets of slaughter so that I can um, increase these slayer tasks a bit. And I'm also gonna do Mage Arena 2 to finally get that cape for an extra max hit, which I think I'll get in addition with the uh, the Slayer Helm. So we've got some preparation to do, but then we're gonna start the burst task and I'm quite looking forward to that because that should be some really good Slayer XP right there. Okay, there we go. Decided to make 1000 steel darts and apparently that got us to 61 flitching just from the little bit of XP I got from that. So. I guess we'll take that, but hopefully the 1000 darts should last us through a few of the burst tasks. So there we go. Now let's also get some red tope so I can make the bracelets and then we are ready to go do Mage Arena 2. Okay, there we go. We made 16 bracelets of slaughter and while I was at it, I also made some skilling necklaces because I hadn't made any of those yet. But ever since we completed Legends Quest, we are able to charge these as well. So we can start using these on our farm runs to teleport to the farming guild instead of having to use the fairy ring. So that's going to be nice as well. But now that I have these slaughter bracelets, one more thing left to do is for us to complete Mage Arena 2 to get that cape. And then we're going to start with the Necreal Slayer task. Let's get started with Mage Arena 1. Let's kill Collodion a few times. And then we can um, proceed to Mage Arena 2. Well done, young adventurer. You truly are a worthy battle mage. There we go. That's Mage Arena 1 done. So now we can go and grab a cape with a staff. I'm going to go for Guthics because we have the Void Knight Mace uh, that we can auto cause Claws of Guthics with if we have to go to Zolra or something. So that's the plan. So we'll grab that one and then we'll go do Mage Arena 2. Right, that's right. So let's first unlock all of these spells then. Let's go and uh, cast every single spell a hundred times inside the arena, because then we can start Mage Arena 2. There we go, that's going to be the first spell unlocked, Claws of Guthics. Now let's get uh, Ceradomin Strike and Flames of Zamorak as well. And that's going to be the last spell cast, because now we have all three god spells unlocked. And we can start the actual hunt for the, uh, the three different god bosses for Mage Arena 2. Let's get it done. There we go, that's one out of three down. We got the end's roots. 368, help. Someone. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fuck. I should not have said that. I should not have said that. Okay, skeleton. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. <laughs> Don't worry. There we go. Second one down. The demon's heart has been obtained. The very last boss has been slain. For the just a sure hand. Once we turn this one in, we can get our imbued cape. So now if we turn this hand in, that's going to be the last thing we need. Now I think if I just use my cape on him, he's going to imbue that, right? There we go. Imbue your gothic cape. We now have the imbued Majorina cape. We can just aug the different staffs because we're not going to need those anymore for now. And now we can go back to Slayer. We're going to do our very first burst task at the Necreals in the catacomb. So that's going to be amazing. Well, there was a uh, magic level creeping up on us, level 87 from that. Looking pretty good so far. Uh, we also got another Dark Totem base, so we're gonna start working towards another Dark Totem. Pretty much right at the end of the task. We only have three Necreals left. What do we get from the Superior? All right, nothing too crazy, but looks like we're getting about 40k XP per hour on this task, so I guess that's pretty decent. Let's finish this one, three more Necreals, and then we'll get something different. Let's just aug this one extra rune kite. There it is. The very first time we ever have a green cash stack on the account. Look at that. We still have a lot more rune stuff to aug in the bank. That's still like at least two mil or something, I think. Yo, look at that. 89 defense. Just one more level until the flat 90s. And we'll definitely be getting that on this Slayer grind. So that's going to be a very nice milestone to get. Gotta love the burst tasks though. Always a lot of XP. Although this is only the second time we've had one, the first one at the Dust Devils. But there's 82 Slayer and we're now 1725 total as well. Just one more Slayer level left to go. 251k XP until we're ready for the uh, the Dragon Boots. I'm just gonna block this, man. Like, I wanna block these later on anyways. So I feel like I might as well. And I'm gonna block these. I did it. We're getting a new task. 
Well, there we go. That is now another worm task done. How many kills is that? 2,120 worms. Still only one unique, which is, uh, you know, one in 500 to get any of the four uniques. So I feel like I kind of deserve another one. Not gonna lie, but we'll see when that happens, I guess. Just getting some more food ready for the next layer task. And that right there is 71 cooking coming in. I was so close to the 95 hit points, but there it is. Level 95. The single highest skill we have right now, because range is at 94 still. Only four more levels until the first 99. Okay, so just to point this out there, we're starting the bank cleaning. We have 810 filled slots right now. We're going to see how much we have at the end. Because I'm curious if it's going to make a big difference. But I'm sure it will. It's about time. We'll see how this goes. Here goes the page collection, I guess. Sacrifice. Boom. 2.8 mil in the coffer. And these can go straight to the floor. Up to 4.7 mil value in the coffers now from pages, beginner uniques, and I guess the amulet of power as well. Holy. That's pretty good. We can die a lot of times, yeah. Like, I've kept all of these easy tier items that are absolutely useless just for the sake of collecting it, but I have the collection log anyways, right? So I might as well get rid of like all the metal boots and, and like satchels and random shit that I don't need. And just keep like cool items and make it look all nice and clean. Because now everything is all over the place. I'm gonna pretend to die. Ah. Uh... What the fuck? It said, it said my liver. My liver is melting. I, I didn't even know it would say that. How cool is that? And now we go back. I think we did a very good job here. Down to 671 bank slots. And as soon as we get our construction level up, we can get rid of even more. Uh, if we can upgrade all of our storage. Our bank can breathe again. Some space to play around with again. So I guess that's nice. <laughs> no more complaining about bank space. Yo, look at that. There it is. 90 defense. Oh my god, that looks beautiful actually. 90 attack, strength and defense lined up right there. So I guess I might go straight to 99 strength now, although we will be getting a whip before that probably. So as soon as I have the whip, I think I'll probably be uncontrolled forever. At least until 99 strength. Here we go. Boom. 88 magic. 102k left for the last Slayer level. Just like that, that was 190 task streak, and that also means that we now have enough points to finally buy a rune pouch for 750 Slayer points. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, because that's gonna be pretty useful to uh, save some inventory spaces for a lot of different things. So we'll pick that one up as we get our next task from Konar again. We got the rune pouch, there we go. Well, I didn't really need one of these, but I guess I'll take a second basilisk head. Here it is. The very last worm of the grind. There is 83 Slayer. You can now kill spiritual mages and that means that we can go and get our dragon boots. We still have 8 worms left for the next Slayer grind but we'll leave it for that. That also means that we have now killed a total of 2247 worms with only one unique. Um, hopefully that'll change next Slayer grind but yeah for now we're shit out of luck. We also have a lot of items to alk still in the bank. Uh, well, not a lot, just a few. I'll alk those real quick. And then we have about 45 brimstone keys to open, I think. We'll check that in a bit. Uh, we'll do that straight away as well while we are here. And hopefully we can get one unique from those. Unlike the first time we opened all the keys, but we'll see in a second. Here we go. Like I said, 45 keys at the ready. Let's see if we get something juicy. The very last one. This is gonna be chest number 160 in total. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, maybe that means that we're gonna get the dragon boots straight away. Maybe the luck will turn around there. I'm gonna run to the farming guild real quick, put all these seeds away. Then we'll make our way over to the uh, God Wars dungeon. Wait, who the fuck is Samuel Hall? I, I see how it is. <laughs> Literally opens one key after me, gets the fucking broken dragon nest. I'm done with this game. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes for us to get the dragon boots by killing the spiritual mages. After our stats reset, because right now we're 82 slayer and we can't kill them. <laughs> that was it right there. 128 mages down the drain. We are officially dry for the dragon boots. Well, um, there they are. <laughs> 165 kills for the dragon 
boots. Let's get the hell out of here. We are done. Holy shit. That took about, well, almost two weeks since we generated this task. But there they are. Look at that. Oh my god. I like that. That looks good. That looks pretty good. 165 spiritual mages have been slain for the red booties. <sighs> the first slayer grind has been completed in the hard tier. The easiest one. Many more slayer tasks to go. Many, many long ones. Um, hopefully we don't get the back to back. I kind of want to switch things up a bit. But, you know, we might get another slayer task straight away. We'll see. But we are done with this one. Not too shabby at all. No passive drops along the way. No worm uniques. No superior uniques yet. But maybe next time. We got up to flat 90s though. 70k away from 91 strength as well. That's not too bad at all. Let's go and get our new task. Piss off, Rick. The dragon boots. They have been obtained. Is that going to be 10% in the hard tier? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're still at 9% hard. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go to the next task. Is it going to be another slayer grind? Do we have to do some mini games? Some clue scrolls? Here we go. Generating the next task. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. We are indeed not done with Slayer. We are gonna do a bit more for the next Slayer task. Honestly, not even bad. Gradually progressing through the Slayer grind. 83. Now we're gonna go on to 85. I could boost for these once again, but I don't want to. I don't think. Uh, I really want to get the Slayer grind done in, in like smaller increments. And I think this is the perfect way. So <laughs> I think I should take the, the luck that I got right here and get the two levels instead of boosting for it. So we just got some more Slayer content coming right up. Hey, look at that. 91 strength coming in. The first strength level again while we are training on strength. Not too bad. That's kind of logical, I guess, that you get strength levels while training on strength. But anyways, this is going to be a very big milestone here. 200 Slayer tasks in a row. 450 points for that. Holy moly. That's a nice little bonus right there. Straight into my pocket. That's very nice. I've had Basilisks like three times already in the last, what, six tasks? I'm going to disable them again. I'll re-enable it once I actually have to go for the job. But holy shit. Please, a unique, maybe? Surely. Has to be. There's no way around it. The second boss task we've ever had after the Vettian. King Black Dragon. How many do I kill? <laughs> do I go for 35? I don't have a good weapon for this. Okay, 35. Fine. 35 King Black Dragons. We're doing it. We'll send it with this then. See how that goes. See how many kills we can get in one trip. Let's kill some KBD. Let's get the KBD heads, the visage, the dragon pickaxe. One of those things would be nice. Six kill trip. That's not too bad, but I think I'm going to try out the melee setup now. See how that goes. See if that's any better. And then we can compare the two, I guess. Oh my god, no way. We actually <laughs> we actually got the KBD heads. Nah. 22 KC. It was about time to get something passively on these Slayer grinds. We will take those. That is another hard task we can mark as completed. Which I'll do after this Slayer task right here. But <laughs> that's looking pretty nice. There we go. That's the KBD boss slayer task done. Nothing crazy on the last kill there, but hey, we got the KBD head, so that's all we could ask for, really. Nice little 5k bonus XP right there. Not too bad. Let's mark the heads as completed, and then we can continue the slayer grind. All right, so where are these KBD heads? Wait, where are they? Uh, <laughs> oh, there they are. Get KBD heads. That has now been completed, and I think that puts us at 10% hard now. 10% heart completed. Just like that. Beautiful. M more boss slayer. Three venenatus. Let's try that. Alright, with this lure, venenatus is actually super easy to kill. And there we go. That's our boss slayer task done once again. We did die once uh, when I was trying the old lure. But with this one, it's super easy. No PK or scene at all. So uh, there we go. Three venenatus down. Let's get a new slayer task. Quick little cooking level again, 72 cooking from cooking some monkfish. Get some food again for the Slayer grind, we've got another worm task. Hopefully it'll finally be the one where we get a unique, but at this point I'm just not expecting one anymore. It's just not happening at all. Here we go, we are now officially halfway to another 99 here. 92 strength has been achieved. We are very close to 130 in combat as well, just one more level to go. Okay, before we move on to this next Slayer task, something that I completely forgot is that we have this Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. So we're gonna slap that bad boy onto our boots to make them all gold and shiny. Look at that. We've got some new Yeezys. 
Now we're good to go. One bank space saved as well. That's what we like to see. Very special blood vault here. The superior one. It's gonna give us 84 slayer and... Okay, nothing too special as far as the drop goes, but... We can now kill drakes, actually. So uh, that is another slayer monster unlocked right there. One more level to go until we can start hunting for that abyssal whip that we're after. No way, we actually got it. Look! Yes, we're done with fucking vampires. I'm gonna remove this task after this one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna un-unlock it. Nice. I'm just gonna finish this task still. It's it's 56 kills left. But after that, I'm gonna remove it. Because uh, we don't have to kill these guys anymore. We have a lot of the dust as well for Hallowed Sepulchre now. That only took like four tasks, I think. Wait, can I see the KC on my log? 428 kills in total. For a 1 in 1,500 drop, I think. That is also an elite task, by the way. So I think that's gonna be our first percentage in the elite tier. Together with the one Master Clue unique, so... I'll mark that one as completed right after this Slayer task, and uh, yeah, there we go. We're done with Vampires. <laughs> Alright, so we're still at 0% the lead, but once we complete this one, that's gonna change. Get a Blood Shard has been completed, and together with the one Master Clue unique we have from the 3rd Age Kite Shield, that means we're now at 1% elite. A new site on the dashboard right there, so that's pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll take that. Well, I mean, there's another Dragon Spear for the collection. I think that is now number three or something. I'm not too sure, honestly, but there is another Dragon Spear. <laughs> there's absolutely no way. We got a Dragon Spear on the previous task from the Greater Demons. And now we get a Shield Left Half as well. That's number three on the account. Two Dragon Spears in total, three Shield Left Halves. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> We're going back to where we started the, the hard tier. We're killing Vorkat three times. There we go. That is our Vorkat Slayer task completed. And we get rewarded with absolute garbage. Oh, well. No luck for a pet or anything else today. But that's all fine. 164k to go. That's not bad. We've done 130k already today. It's been a, it's been a good Slayer day. There it is. Whoa. I missed that one. 93 strength creeping up on me like that. 113 combat as well. I think I got that from this level. I'm pretty sure. So I guess it's finally time to bite the bullet and get a full Dwarven Cannon. We're gonna kill some Lizardman Shamans in the canyon for the first time ever. So uh, we're gonna use a cannon for that. I have like 5,000 cannonballs for that. So hopefully that will come in handy for these guys. I'm not sure how to do it properly, but I, I guess I'll figure things out real quick. Well, I guess that's the first time we're killing Drakes then, because uh, we only just unlocked them on this level. Let's see what they're all about, shall we? Let's see if we can get luckier on the Drake Uniques than we did at the Worm Uniques. After just about 35 kills on the Drakes, it seems like the Worm Luck is turning around. Because there's the first Unique already, the Drake's Tooth. Would you believe it? Literally 3 kills after the Drake's Tooth, there's the Claw as well. We are done with drakes. We never have to kill these ever again. I am getting the hell out of here and these guys are gonna be the quickest Slayer task block you've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. On the Slayer lock, only 40 kills in total. That is all it took to get both of the uniques. You know what? All of those worm kills that we went dry on are worth it now. I'll gladly kill a bunch more worms if it means that the drakes are no longer something we have to deal with. Time to get rid of one of these block tasks to make room for the drakes. Just quickly going to check which one has the lowest weighting. Unblock that one, block the drakes, and then we can move on. Hellhounds have the lowest weighting of 8, so I'll get rid of those for now. And that is drakes blocked once and for all. Let's continue the Slayer grind with some blood welts in the Mare Ditch Laboratories. And as is tradition by now, there's yet another dragon spear going straight into the collection together with all of the others we've obtained so far. But legit, how is it even possible? Another Dragon Spear on the exact same task. I swear to god, by the time I'm done with Slayer on this account, I'm gonna have so many of these things. I could build an entire fence with them around my house. It's insane. So first things first, before we finish this Slayer grind, I'm quickly going to mark two more of these as completed. For the two Drake Uniques. So right now we still need two Uniques from Mount Kurum in the hard tier. Which is going to be two uniques from Worms. But that puts us at 11% heart now. Not too shabby. Now let's get the final experience we need for level 85. And then we'll start hunting for the Abyssal Whip. All right, let me put this claw on the boots. This will create the boots of Brimstone. So we can use these now in the Mount Karum dungeon. Look at those. Ooh, they match the, the Torek legs very nicely. I like it. With a quick swing. There we go. 
one more hit. That'll be 96 hit points already. Oh my god, look at that. 1 million XP until the next level. That's the first thing we have at 96. Now the final stretch. 8,000 Slayer XP left. We are gonna be just short if we don't get one more superior. I think we're gonna be like 5 kills away, so that's gonna be like 500 XP short. Let's hope we get one more superior, otherwise we'll have to get one more Slayer task after these. And there it is. 85 Slayer. We are done once again. We can now kill Abyssal Demons and Sires. It is time to get the Abyssal Whip. We're gonna barrage them in the Zaya Catacombs. Hopefully pick up some Dark Totem pieces, some Ancient Shards maybe, or just get the whip straight away so we don't have to worry about that. After that we'll also open all of the Brimstone Keys once again, which right now are 49, so another decent chance at getting any of the Uniques from the chest. But we'll see if that happens. There is an Elite Clue. Now the thing is, in the heart tier we are allowed to try and complete Elite Clues as we get them. If we have all of the requirements, we can keep the casket. Do we go and attempt the elite clue? I know that this is a lot rarer than uh, an abyssal whip, but my name is not only trail, so I don't complain about getting drops that aren't the drop that I need. So I don't mind getting the elite clue right now. It's a Sherlock step. <laughs> Let's complete this trip and then I'll go check what the Sherlock step is. And we're done. <laughs> 170 kills is all it took for us to obtain the abyssal whip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whip this. Oh my god. Look at that. Oof. That animation, I like it. Let's get out of here. 170 Abyssal Demons for the Abyssal Whip. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. We are done with the second Slayer grind. And it's time to open all the keys that we have obtained along the way. Let's see what we get from that. Look at this outfit. Oh, we're looking like such a beast right now. I love it. 49 keys to open. We have 160 brimstone chest KC right now without any uniques. So we will get over 200 with these keys. Even if it's the Hasta, I don't care. Just give me something. Let's get it, boys. Everyone's out here. Musto is flexing some cool items as well. Looking beautiful. Whew. Full dusk incoming. Let's spoon it. Adam already got a broken dragon Hasta. Let's see if we can find something as well. Here we go. That is 200. That is 200 chests opened without a single item. And I believe for the first unique, it's like 1 in 100, right? Because the Hasta is 1 in 200. Any Dusk piece is also 1 in 200. So to get anything, it's 1 in 100 at the start. But I still don't have anything at double the drop rate right now. Nine more keys. The dream is still alive. The very last one. Oh man, this game is so shit. Whatever, man. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. We still have some nice supplies from this. Some money, some, you know. I guess we spooned too hard on the Drake's uniques and the whip that we are not allowed to get something from the chest just yet. But we still have an elite clue in the bank that we can try. But uh, I'm gonna generate the next task first. We might get an elite clue task. We might get another Slayer task. Who knows? I'm kind of hoping not to get another Slayer task though. We've had two in a row now. I kind of want something else, but we'll see. If anyone cares about the price of the loot, I'll quickly throw it in the price checker. It's about 5.7 mil that we got from 49 keys. So there you go. Here we go. The moment is there. We got the Abyssal Whip. It only took about a week, so not too bad. Let's complete this. And that puts us at 12% heart already. Look at that. If the next task is going to be a Trident or a Kraken Unique, the spreadsheet is rigged. But I don't think it will be. I'm expecting... I'm, I'm going to call a Diary task. We've not had any Diaries yet. Boom. Generate. It's a Diary. It's the Karamja Hard Diary. I don't know what the requirements are for this. I don't know if there's any good rewards from this. But it is the first Diary. So let's go and do that. Next episode that is because for now that is all I have for you today. A pretty solid Slayer grind is out of the way and I hope you all enjoyed this little journey with some nice surprises along the way. I thank you all once again for watching and I hope to see you all soon in the next episode. Have a good one and take care.